Okay, so the first problem is that if A is any integer, then the square is either congruent to zero modulo four or the square is either congruent to one modulo four. The meaning of this exercise is that if I take any integer, then its square will be either completely divisible by four, means the remainder is how much? Means the remainder is zero. Or the square, when I divide by four, then the remainder will be how much? The remainder will be one. We all know that the right hand side is actually the remainder. When you divide the left hand side by the number four, this remainder turns up either to be zero or one. Okay, this is what we are supposed to prove in this exercise. So you take square of any number, and if you divide by four, the remainder will turn out to be either. Zero or either one. This is the meaning of this exercise. Okay, so let us try to write the solution of this exercise. It's very easy. Now, if you pick any integer, okay, if a is any integer, then there are two cases. There are two possibilities of picking up an integer. And the first case is that the number that you have picked up, the, the number a that you have picked up in your mind, may be an even number. So a is even. Or the second case is the number that you have picked up in your mind may be an odd number. Okay, so let us handle this case first. What if the number in the mind a is even? Therefore, what will be a square equal to? If I get point a square, a square will be 2k square. So this means that a square is equal to 4 into k square. And this k square, I'm going to call some different number which I'm going to call k dash. So that is also an integer. So this means that a square is equal to what? Four times k dash. And now I will take modulo four. When I write congruence modulo four, we know in modulo four, what happens to four? We know that four is nothing but zero in modulo four, right? So when I take modulo four, so this means that a square is congruent to now I'm replacing the equal to sign by congruent because I'm taking modulo 4, right? So a is congruent to 4k dash modulo 4, but 4 is how much? But 4 is equivalent to 0 into k dash modulo 4. So I conclude that a square is congruent to zero modulo. So case two is if uh, a is odd, case two a is odd means uh, a is of the format, a is of the format 2k plus one. And therefore when I take the square, I will get 2k plus 1 whole square and therefore what will I get when I take congruence modulo 4 this is nothing but actually 4k square plus 4k plus 1 this is uh, a square and therefore when I take congruence modulo 4 a square will be congruent to 4k square plus 4k plus 1 modulo 4 and we all know that under modulo 4 what will happen to this 4 will become 0 this 4 will also become 0 and you will be just left with what? you will be just left with one. So this means that a square is congruent to one modulo four. So by case one and case two, our uh, conclusion is that if a is any integer, then a square is always congruent to zero or one modulo, modulo four. So the next question we will uh, try to solve is, can we find x and y integers such that x square plus y square is equal to 23. And not only that, you have to 
justify you just cannot say i cannot find okay we want to justify that if you cannot find why if you can find what are they right so if you do your oral calculations you will understand that you will not be able to find two numbers which are integers whose squares sum comes up to be 23 okay so now let us justify that we cannot find such two numbers x and y so let me write down the solution so first of all such x and y integers do not exist justification let us write the just how will you justify this okay now in the above exercise what we have proved is that if you take any number and if you take the square of that number then you know that it will be always congruent to what it will be always congruent to 0 modulo 4 or 1 modulo 4 similarly if i take y to be any number its square is also congruent to what 0 modulo 4 or 1 modulo 4 so this means that x square has two choices when i divide it by what divided by 4 the remainder has two choices the remainder is can be 0 or 1 similarly when i take y square and if i divide it by 4 then the remainder also has two choices right so when i add them so what will happen when i take x square plus y square what are the choices for x square plus y square modulo 4 okay so this means that x square is 0 and y square is congruent to 0 so here you can have first option is both are 0 second option is x square is 1 modulo 4 and y square is 0 modulo 4 so you can have x square plus y square is 1 plus 0 the third possibility is that x is 0 and y is 1 okay x square is 0 and y square is 1 so you can have 0 plus 1 also as one of the choice right see x square has two values 0 and 1 y square also has two possible values 0 and 1 so what are the possible values of the addition the addition can be either 0 0 One zero, zero one, or the last case will be both are one, right? So x square plus y square is all what? X square plus y square is one plus one. So what are the choices here? So when I add them, I understand this is zero. Then uh, this is how much? This is one. This is also one, and this is how much two. So if x square has two possibilities, zero and one, y square has two possibilities, zero and one, x square plus y square has how many possibilities? X square plus y square has only. three possibilities what are the three possibilities either it can be 0 either it can be 1 or it can be 2 so this means this is 0 or 1 or 2 so this means that x square plus y square when i divide by 4 okay the remainder can be either 0 the remainder can be 1 or the remainder can be 2 it cannot be 3 right so if x square plus y square is divided by 4 the remainder can be 0 1 or 2 it cannot be 3 right why i am saying it cannot be 3 because when you divide certain number by 4 so if i have x square plus y square and when i divide by 4 what are the choices of remainder the choices of remainder you know remainder is always less than the divisor so remainder lies between which numbers remainder lies between 0 to and less than 4 so the choices for remainder were actually 0 1 2 3 correct but what i understand from this particular logic is that x square plus y square by using this particular congruence i understand that the remainder has only three choices 0 1 and 2 so the remainder cannot be how much the remainder cannot be 3 correct but what happens when i write on the right hand side when i have 23 right but what is x square plus y square equal to what was the given question what is x square plus y square equal to given to us 
x squared plus y squared is how much and i'm scrolling now see x squared plus y squared is how much x squared plus y squared is 23 right what happens when you divide 23 by 4 when you divide 23 by 4 the remainder turns out to be how much the remainder turns out to be 3 right so let me write continue but when 23 is divided by 4 the remainder is 3 correct and we know that this is not possible we know that this is not possible why so this this these two statements tells us that if i if i divide x square plus y square by 4 the remainder has to be 0 1 and 2 and this tells us that the right hand side 23 when i divide by 4 the remainder has to be 3 so these two things tells us that x square plus y square equal to 23 will never be possible when you take x and y to be integers hence because one tells us the left hand side tells us that it must be the remainder must be 0 1 2 the right hand side tells us that the remainder must be 3 so both of these things contradict each other and we hence conclude that hence we cannot find two integers x and y such that the addition of the squares will come up to be equal to 23 because left hand side if i divide by 4 remainder will give me either 0 1 or 2 but the right hand side if i divide by 4 the remainder is coming to be how much the remainder is coming to be 3 so these two things contradict each other and therefore you will not be able to find such x and y